Hey, welcome to another video of Benefric and Cichlids. So in this video here, we're going to review the kelp wafer. And I'm going to tell you why this is pretty much 90% of the fish food that I feed those trophies there, so I don't get in trouble with them. If you keep any algae grazer fish, you might know that those fish have long intestinal tract and uh, they're more susceptible to bloat if they're fed the wrong diet. So they need to have a diet that is uh, high in veggie so that uh, everything can flow properly through their digestive system. So for those trophies here, which are fish that are really hard to keep if you don't be careful with the diet and uh, water parameter. For those one here, I feed kelp wafers. So kelp wafers is from the company Nordfen. Those are 14 millimeter wafers. So this is uh, what you can expect them to look like. This is one of the premium quality fish food that you can find out there. One of the best one for your fish. And uh, I'm gonna prove that to you because if you look at the ingredient, the first ingredient is what you have the most in the package. And then after that, as you go down the list, there's less and less of it. So the first ingredient, as you can see here, is the kelp, uh, the organic kelp, which is a superfood. It's followed by Antarctic krill, earring meal. The krill actually give a natural red color to your fish. Followed by sardine. Then the pallets are bound together with wheat flour. Then it's followed by spirulina which is another superfood, which is an algae that is actually um, a color and answer for your fish. Then there's garlic in there, which make your fish appetite higher. Uh, they'll like the food better because it tastes better, but it also is a natural uh, antibiotic for your fish. And then uh, there's some clay in there. And uh, the clay, is actually so that the food can travel through, like it cleans the intestinal tract of your fish so that the food traveled nice and freely in there and there's no blockage. And then the whole thing is preserved by a natural preservative called rosemary extract. And then as we can see here, the protein is pretty high in protein, but it's high in vegetable protein. 33% of uh, protein, 4% fat, and then 5% on fiber. This food has 60 mineral, 21 amino acid, and 12 vitamins. And to keep your algae grazer nice and healthy, they added some nitrogen, potassium, and micronutrient. Northfin kelp wafer food is available in size of 100 gram, 250 gram, 500 gram, 1 kilogram, and 2.5 kilogram. So if you're like me and you have a big fish room, then the 2.5 kilogram bag might be the ones for you. Now this is a great food for trophies like this, any algae grazer, plecos, snail. It's also great for shrimp. And then uh, I'll show you a little thing that I do with it. Too. like sometimes when you have that many fish like this it's really hard to inspect the health of your fish and make sure everybody is okay in there and if you want them closer to the glass then uh, what you do is you grab a couple algae wafer and then what you're going to do is you'll let them soak in the tank for a little few seconds there on one side there's a flat spot and on the other side it's kind of round and then what you're going to do after it's soaked for a little bit in the tank, it's you're just going to put it against the glass here and keep a little bit of pressure in there for a couple seconds. Then you can release the pressure and then the algae wafer will actually stay stuck to the glass here. And as soon as I remove my end, because right now they're a little bit shy, they won't be shy for too long because they smell the food. You can start seeing some of the fish here are starting to get their courage and come to the front of the glass here. 
I even feel them against my end here. So now you can pick your end out of here. And now they're all nice and nice at front of the glass. You're able to see if there's any issue with them, if they're eating properly. Oh, one fell down, so you can also inspect them on the ground. But, uh, or sometimes they, they steal it and they run away with it too. Uh, but yeah, you can inspect them. It gives you a good chance to inspect their fins, their belly, make sure everybody's eating right. So that's a little trick. I like to do that at least like once a week, just so I keep track of the health of the colony here. So far, so good. The colony is perfect. So I've been feeding those guys since I have them. I picked them up in 2020. Right now we're in uh, January 2024. And as you can see, like I still have that colony going strong. So uh, yeah, I feed this. Well, I said 90% of the time, it's actually more like 99% of the time. And then uh, once in a while, I will give like Bug Pro just a pinch of it in there, just so that they have a little bit of higher pro protein is from insect. So it's still pretty good for them anyway. And uh, it's not high in fat or nothing like that. So that will give them like, I'm trying to breed them, so that's this is why I'm trying to induce breeding by feeding a tiny bit of Bug Pro once in a while. Not too much because I'm afraid like if I do too much, those fish are not made for that kind of diet. But with this diet here, no problem. And then once in a while too, I might go and add some uh, kelp flakes, sorry, which is very similar ingredient than the wafers, but it's just to change it up a little bit. All right, well, hopefully you like this review, you like that video, you enjoyed that little trick here so that you can keep track of your fish health if you have lots of fish. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, North Finnish Canadian made.